Hello folks and welcome back to another episode of Soul Mask. And before we begin, there is something I need to apologize for because the first two episodes I recorded back to back and during the editing process I noticed that um, the recording settings were actually terrible. Uh, the video was crap, audio, well, I can't change anything about my voice so that's uh, not, not an issue. But yeah, I did change the uh, video settings and I think they should be a lot better. So from here on, on better settings, better videos and uh, hopefully maybe that will result in some more views or interactions who knows so it's time to start today and uh, yeah things have happened let me show you uh, when i was not on of course the server keeps running and yeah our friend is gone she is no longer here and i should have known because there is no food in the bonfire and i think she probably passed away if i press uh, j and go to the tribe events i'm pretty sure she will be uh, dead from starvation oh she died of thirst okay uh, yeah okay she died of thirst and that was uh four days ago ah, yeah close after uh, after our session so yeah we were in a, a little bit of a bad spot now so what i would like to do is probably uh, go explore a bit um maybe get some of these question marks and yeah go up here so i can unlock this unlock this part of the map i think i I'm going to be trying to make a base around here, a little bit more definitive base because there is a barbarian camp up here and that barbarian camp will allow us to uh, recruit some new clans members. So yeah, let's get uh, the thing started. Maybe I should go visit this one first to see what it is. Um, I checked the settings because there was something very strange with the settings. I did check, I now have a door on my hotbar. I don't need the door on my hotbar so I will drop that off in the box. You, here, door, in here, yeah, you, and then I want the blade for now, the blade in here, the shield in here, and it should be ready. Yeah, I checked the settings compared to our uh, server where we play with the other people on our community server. The settings are actually exactly the same, so I'm not sure why I was getting uh, all those loot things. I mean, I will have keep an eye on it if... Uh, if it uh, keeps giving me too much loot or too good loot, then uh, I will I will go in and tune it down. Okay, that should give me some meat as well. So there is a, a, an ancient rune here, what do you get at the ancient ruins? Well, you will get uh, a box with loot, probably some crystals, oh crap, no, that's not what I wanted to do. You want something? Yeah, you will die. Oh, it hit me. So I have the capybaras down, now I can go check at the rooms and see if there is anything in the box. If it's still way too overpowered to the uh, loot I get, then I will probably go into the settings and tune it down a little bit, because it's a little bit too much. So normally there is a box somewhere in here, can I see the box? Uh, sometimes there is also a tablet, if there is one I will show you what it is because those actually grant you some uh, tech points you can spend, so some skill points actually. What's that? Push dog, okay, let's kill it. No. Push dog is dead, let's check the back side. I don't see any tablets, so okay. Actually, I didn't even see a box with loot. There should be a box with loot somewhere. Maybe it's in this section here. Huh. There's nothing in there? Wait, I must be missing something. Let me check this out completely. I mean, there must be a box any other pieces of runes I have missed? No. Okay, the box is here. I completely missed it. So what's in the box? Let's check. Okay, this is better. This is better. So I didn't change the settings. The settings are the same. Maybe I just got lucky. 
So we got this one cleared up. I think I'm going to be checking out this section here. So let's place a mark there by uh, pointing at it and pressing V. And then that should allow me to get up there. Let's also use the bandage because we are a little bit hurt. Um, and get up there and see what's up there. There will be a scout up there. So uh, that means uh, I, I will have to deter it. And once it's deterred, it will probably unlock that part of the map. I'm going to be taking both of them because I kind of will need not the leather and also the meat. I should have made cooked meat because now I don't have any plans people to help me at all. Oh, there is another pretty common. Piggy and move up. So I, I, the goal of this series is actually to play through the game a little bit and uh, try to explain things as we go. I'm gonna try to keep the editing as slow as possible. Um, of course I will be cutting out long trips and walks and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I will do a lot of editing because if I edit this too much it will look like things are easier or whatever and I don't really want that. Actually this is a nice building location. Yeah, maybe I should have my camp up here actually. But first let's go check the, the scout and see uh, what he unlocks. Yeah, this is actually nice. There's bush dogs. Hmm. But maybe those will uh, not respawn if I build here. I'm definitely getting a lot of materials out of this. Oh, more people? Where are you? Which dog too? Okay, let's pick up the meat. Oh, if I can find it. Uh, I need to keep an eye on the, the energy levels of my mask too. Because if the energy level is depleted from my mask, then I will not be able to deter new people. Wait, I'm going to the wrong thing? Oh no, there is an ancient room here. Is there people here? Yes, there is people here. Can I deter them? Oh, I don't have the skill yet to go any deeper. There's probably a scout here. Yeah, let's try to pull one. Ooh, hammer gun. MC hammer. Yeah, come here. Oh shit. Nice one. Ooh, two times in a row. I have deterred her. Uh, can I put some... No, 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 no. Crap. Let's drop her off behind the corner somewhere. Here. And let's check if I can give her some broth. If I have broth on me. Oh, I do have some. Nice. I'll try to tame her or uh, deter her. And uh, yeah, see what we can do with that. Let's try to shoot another one and bring it in. Yeah, okay, of course it moves. Okay, stand still. I might get two now. Yeah, come up here. Maybe I can deter you as well. Yeah, come up here. Come on. Step. There's one guy left. He will come up here, I think. 
No? Then I will have to shoot you. Okay. Bad shooting. You want some? You can have some. Take this one though. No. Let's say I will try it. You will see what we get. So there should be a, a dog in here, as I noticed earlier. Oh no, it's the alpaca. Oh, let's check this one. Is there a box in here? There's no box in here. Is there a glyph? There is a box here. Okay. Need to heal up a bit as well. Let's pick up everything for now. Use a bandage. And check if there is a tablet here. Nope, I don't see a tablet. Maybe on the back side. Nope, no tablet. No tablet. No tablet. Okay, but this is not the scout camp I wanted to go to. That one is way down there. You have to admit, things look nice in this game. Look in the distance, we can already see a pyramid. I think it's the volcano one, if I have it correctly. I've never been there, even on our other server. But this alpaca would be nice. You know what? I can only carry one thing. Can I pick you up? Normally I can, right? Yes. So I can't pick you up. There is one person here which I downed. So I would have to come back to get this one too. Oh man, can I uh, drop you off? I know that they need, they eat thatch. So do I have some thatch on me? Okay, I have thatch on me. And that means you should be starting to grow. Can I make you follow me? Behavior settings. Uh, attack, auto feed settings, there will be. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I can make her foam yet, so we will have to wait until this one wakes up. And then uh, I can recruit her to the clan and pick up this little guy here. But if I'm correct, this should be a good area to build at because there is a, a barbarian camp up here somewhere. On my other server, uh, I built hmm, way further up actually. I built somewhere up here, close to the first pyramid where the first boss is. There is a, a couple of pyramids. I think every every little um, how do they call that? Not region, but biome. Every biome has its its own pyramid. There is one in the rainforest. There is one in the wetlands. There is one in the volcano area. There is one in the desert area. I think there is one in the uh, ice area too. I'm not sure about that. I haven't been there yet. Oh yeah, you can clearly see that uh, the alpaca is now developing. It is 1% done. So we will have to wait on this one to... Hmm, this will take a long time. How far is my base? I don't really want to leave you here. So let's try by giving you one more broth. Does this speed everything up? Not really. So if you see the little uh, area to the right of the uh, downed enemy, you see that there is HP Satiacy, that's the food. Hydrata hydration is the drinks. Morale, yeah, I will come back to that later on. And recognition, that's the uh, uh, how, how well uh, you are recognized, how good you are for your people. And once that gets to 500, I can recruit her into, the, into my clan and uh, play with her. Okay, I should probably check. Oh, I have another one here. I forgot about this one. 
So same thing here, yeah, this will take a while. But I would be happy if I have one to start with. Is there actually a tablet? No, I don't see any tablet. So I have two people here. Uh, at least I will be waiting until this one is up. And then try to bring the alpaca back home and come back and see if uh, this one is still uh, still here. So yeah, I might be taking a, a cut now and come back once I brought the alpaca home and once this person is up. Well, I will bring you back when this person is up and then I can do the trip to uh, uh, bring the alpaca back off camera and see what happens. Okay, folks, I'm back. And just as I mentioned earlier that I will try not to cut too much, I did a big cut, well, a big cut. I brought everybody back. You see, I have a temporary archer because his bow skills were okay-ish. This one was actually a pretty nice one. Let me show you. Uh, no, not in here, through the eye. I called her Blade Master. Why? Because, well, she has 123 blade, which is actually quite good. So I gave her uh, some stuff, some equipment, a blade and a shield and I will be bringing her along on my travels actually she can protect me the alpaca is here uh, it's eating it's uh, yeah it's already at 40% it will take a while before it's uh, fully up and meanwhile as you can see on the left I'm also trying to kick off some uh, of those tutorial things so I should probably tell someone to go uh, lock a bit but not not right now I want to go get that uh, that thingy the the little this, this thing, I want to go there. So uh, I'm gonna be deploying this one. Press and hold E, to bring up the menu, then deploy, and now she will follow me. And as you can see on the bottom left, there is like a little menu where you can specify what she can and cannot do. So currently she's in follow mode and she will assist me, which means if something attacks me, I better have a weapon ready, first of all, and then she will help me. I can tell her to uh, uh, automatically uh, automatically attack anything which is close by, or be passive, or stay uh, stay put at some specific location, which I might need because she might actually kill stuff. Oh, wrong! Come on, dude. press F1 to make her attack. There you see, she will attack. The thing didn't hit me, so that's why uh, that's why she didn't attack me. If it would attack me, she would protect me. Oh yeah, I also gave her uh, and the other guy, let me show you, I gave her some food and some water to drink, so they won't die of uh, hunger or thirst, I hope. At least not, not now. So let's go to that point up there. Uh, do I want to run through this camp again? Probably not. Ooh, there is another camp here. I did not even see this one. What are you? Oh yeah, I don't have that skill yet. I'm not. Oh crap. They're dead. Good. Yeah, I could use uh, that crap. I can always destroy it. Uh, anything good in here? Yeah, let's take everything. Some bandages, why not? A box with some loot, probably some crystals again. Ooh. Some mushroom soup and some food. Well, also good, also good. Let me check on the map. Yeah, we should probably go down here. And what's everything up there? I a piggy. I might be need to be a little bit more careful, especially as I venture forth, because I'm not that high level yet, and there might be some creatures here which would love to eat me alive and I don't, I don't really want that so I am getting close to the uh, oh there is a bush top there can I actually shoot it with my bow yeah I can it will come to me both of them yeah kick it there you go let's get all the stuff. It's actually a lot of meat I got from that. Uh, I keep our gear again and try to approach the uh, scout camp. 
So in order to unlock this uh, part of the map, I need to deter the, the actual scout from the camp. So what I'm going to do is probably make her stay here. So F3 to make her stay and put her on passive so she doesn't attack my targets. So I cannot press and hold the Q yet. I'm going to have to do it like this. Shoot this guy so he comes to me. Okay, they will all come. Great. Okay, now you can join me in battle. F2 and F5. Yeah. Okay. F1. Uh, F3 to make her stay. F6 on the passive. And I can try to pull the next one. Ooh, nice ring. Uh, wait, there is only a bush dog left. And the actual scout. Hmm. Miss. Okay, let's go in. Try to hit the bush dog. And is there another guy? No, there's no nobody here. Need to be very careful with this guy. Gloves, nice. Okay, put away my things. Try to punch her and not deter. It. Okay. West rain first unlocked. Oh, let's not kill her. It's gone. So yeah, I can bring this home, and I can take all this. You see, this unlocks a couple of things on the map, and I will check what it is in a second. So okay, here we are. So you can still follow me and guard me if necessary. Let's have a, a look at the map. You see, I have unlocked the map, and as I mentioned, yeah, there is like a bandit camp or a, a barbarian camp up here, and this would be a very, very, very good spot to actually get our first uh, clans members. So I think I'm going to be walking back around this area and check the lake to see if this would be a worthy spot to actually build at, because I'd like to be a little bit closer to that uh, barbarian camp at start. So I can go in there and recruit a few people and try to be, yeah, select them a little bit. I mean, I want the best people to join me. So it would be nice if we could get people with at least 90 plus in something. If I get something like a 120 plus, that, that's amazing. That's already a high tier. Because before we are in uh, the whole iron and what's it called iron and steel area we don't really need the 120 uh, ones 90 would be enough but yeah it would be nice would be very nice so here ah, this is is there a flat section there is a flat section up there there is a capybara there in the water hmm there is, as you can see, there is clay up there, which is always nice. How far am I from... It's not bad, it's not bad. Is there a little... Oh, there is even a little turkey. Nice. So if I could build something up here, that might be good. There's a little piggy. Oh no. It's a tapir, okay. I always say capybara, but it's a tapir. Uh, let's check if there is anything a little bit closer by. Oh, I'd rather be near the lake, actually. Yeah. Building near the lake might be good. Wait, let me show you on the map. So we unlock this section of the map now. In order to unlock the next section, I will have to go find one of these scouts, guys. Maybe there is probably one up here somewhere too. So this is interesting, medium pit, uh, tin ore, interesting if you want to go into the bronze section, uh, because right now we are at uh, bone tier I think, probably even stone tier, so there is a lot of tin up here and I believe there is some copper up here, so we should be able to actually go there with the alpaca, which we have now, and go get some stuff, bring it back here. Why not make this our main base? Is there anything up here I could do? 
I'm trying to find a okay spot. Yeah, this is where the... Wait, those are monkeys? Oh, cool. So there might be a tree here where there... Yes. Okay. The monkeys sometimes collect uh, fruits and put them into uh, these trees. So that's interesting too. I think I have spotted a little uh, turkey, so that's good too. Is there anything here? We could use as a building spot. Nah. There's a little parrot up there. More turkeys up here with the babies, so that's also good. There is stone here, there is wood here, there is clay here. How deep is this lake? Yeah. Okay, depth wise. It's deep enough to have some... Uh, some what's it called? Piranhas in it. So yeah, I think this section should be where we have a little build. That, but I should go check out this area. You know what? Let's uh, finish up uh, today's episode with a little adventure time. We will go up there and maybe maybe that's even better. Because um, on our server, I, I went through this area here uh, to travel up to the spot where I, I built. And it's actually looking quite nice. So let's have a look up, up there. Might be dangerous because there might be snakes and uh, whatnot, and the uh, alligators or crocodiles might be in there. But we will uh, we will have a look. We will see once we get there. Um, I want something nice and flat. Okay, those are dead. 400 meters here. Yeah. No stamina, so I need to stop running all the time. Still thick bushes here, so there will be quite some uh, wood available. Ah, look, there is brambles here, so I'm probably getting close to the camp, yes. You can go through these, but uh, they will do some uh, poison damage. Seconds. Raise your blade skill. Okay, I'm not going to be picking up, picking up the meat from this one. Should probably check my health as well. Let's press E. Save this. I think you need that in order to progress your your hunting hunting log things. You see this area? Was that big alligator? There's turkeys here. The alligators might be risky. Still have to go kill it. Tell her. She's feeling so cool. Okay. Save this one as well. We will probably come back to the hunting lock way back later. A new tutorial. Uh, don't really care about all that. Yeah, this area I do like. Especially this flat section here. What's that? Oh, capybara. No, tapira. Why do I always think capybaras? Yeah, look at the view. This is probably getting quite deep really quick. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yep, this will be our new building spot. So let's mark, on the, mark it on the map. Let's put a uh, marker here. Create a customized cursor where your cursor is or create one at your feet. Let's place one at, at our feet. F and then I can pick something. And have a build location here so yeah this will be uh, let me connect this I think this will be 
the end of today's episode. Uh, we found a build location. We unlocked another part of the map. We are pretty close to the Barbarian camp. So I think the next episode I will be collecting some materials, doing some building. And after that we will see if we have some time to go uh, to the Barbarian camp or not. So thanks everyone for uh, being here, for looking at the video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to press the thumbs up button and maybe subscribe to the channel. Suggestions, ideas, comments are welcome in the comment section. Helps the uh, YouTube algorithm quite a bit. And all I can say now is uh, I will be talking to you guys in the next episode. And until then, have fun, stay safe and goodbye everyone. Bye bye. Yep, stretch time. Ah!